Hey everyone, this is Kirsten here with CAD Micro Solutions, and today I'm going to be taking you through the step-by-step -step process of how to update your SWOOD module to the latest module available for download. So you're going to receive an email from your reseller that's going to look something like what you see in front of me. It's going to have the latest version of SWOOD, a link to download the, the zip file for install, um, and it's also going to have a login username and a login password as well. So the first thing we want to do is we want to highlight this password and just control C to copy it. And then the next thing we'll do is we'll open up that hyperlink and we'll make sure that we enter the username Efficat and that we'll control V paste that password in. This is automatically going to start the download for the latest version. The next step is for standalone license users. So we're going to open up our SOLIDWORKS and we're going to activate our SWOOD CAM and SWOOD Design or whatever SWOOD module we have. The next thing to do, which is a crucial point to make, is that for standalone licenses, we have to transfer our license before we uninstall the, the SWOOD software. So from Tools, SWOOD Design, the question mark, we're going to select to transfer licenses. So this is where you're going to see your digit alphanumeric serial code that's unique to you. We're going to automatically transfer over the internet by selecting the next button. You'll see your contact email information as well. The next screen will say terminate, so you can go ahead and click that button. The next thing we want to do is repeat that step for any other standalone license we have. So in this case, SWOOD CAM. Once again, I'm going to open up, I'm going to transfer my license. I'll click Next. And then I'll click Terminate to finish that transfer. Now once this step is complete, we can go ahead and we can uninstall our SWOOD software from our control panel. So I'm going to select from programs to uninstall a program. I'm going to search until I find SWOOD inside of my program list. So it's going to show up as SWOOD and whatever version you currently have installed. From the top, I'm going to select to uninstall that version. It's going to prompt me, am I sure I want to uninstall it? Yes, I do want to uninstall it. The next thing I'm going to do is from my downloads folder, I'm going to extract that zipped folder that I just downloaded. Now before we run the setup file, there's a couple things we want to do. The first thing is we want to open up our user control settings. So user account control settings, we'll open those up and we just want to make sure that we set it to the lowest possible setting, which is never notify. Now this is just for the install process. Also at this time, if you have any antivirus software, make sure it's not running while you install the software. The next thing to do is to right click the setup file .exe and run as an administrator. We don't want any of the registry of the .dll files to be blocked because of our Windows user limited rights. So it's crucial at that point that you install as administrator when you run that setup file. So now SWOOD is being extracted and we are inside of the install shield wizard. So we're gonna press next. We want to agree to the terms of the license agreement, next. This is where you're going to enter your username and your company, which is licensed for your, solid, for your SWOOD serial number. We'll press Next. We'll indicate what modules we want to install, and then we'll select Install. So please note that all of your customized SWOOD CAM and SWOOD Design libraries are not going to be overwritten during this install. So those libraries are all going to remain untouched inside of your SWOOD data files. After the new installation is complete, we're going to press Finish, and we're going to reopen up SOLIDWORKS so that we can activate our SWOOD modules once again. Now, you want to make sure that you have your serial number handy. So I typically have it in a notepad document. 
Um, so I can just pull that up as the activation manager pops up and I can type in that digit alphanumeric code. Now, please note that we are going to activate it in our, um, automatically over an internet connection, but sometimes the sending of an activation request is blocked. Now, this is either by a firewall, a server, or a proxy. In this case, it's necessary to activate the product by email. So you would select that second option manually using email. Uh, Efficad would provide you a step-by-step -step instructions on how to create and then send off the activation request file. And then you just want to make sure that you check your junk mail because you're going to get it back very shortly, but it often will go into your junk folder. So you'll just load that file in and then you'll select to activate. Next, you'll see the next screen, status enabled, so we know that we were successful in our activation. Now I'll repeat this process for any other module that I need to activate. And the last thing I want to do is I want to open up my user account settings and I want to make sure to restore to whatever setting I had before I started that installation process. Also, if you disabled your firewall or your antivirus software, make sure that you enable that once again. Thanks so much for watching.